commission report. What's this? Dwarven propriety. <clears throat> right. The key to the city. While your concerns have merit, the assembly has made itself clear. Space within the th within the thigh tig one of the two is at a premium, but the intended function of the hall merits the additional resources committed. The statues of the paragons must be the core of the Hall of Heroes. There is no other placement that so benefits dwarven interests. It is the first glimpse that surface ambassadors have of Orzammar, an introduction not just to our living ancestors, but also to the stone from which we were born. They must see it shaped before they can understand the complexity of its raw form. The Hall must also serve as a second purpose, as a last sight for departing brethren. Those who choose to leave must do so with the heavy gaze of their ancestors at their backs. It is a reminder of duty and of conse consequence. We will promote all manner of trade, but also reinforce that those who leave for too long will return as strangers to the stone. I shall do. Ooh. Into Orzammar proper, then. Let us see. Ooh, a thing. This looks worrisome. It is the assembly who makes a king, and a king who nominates his successor. None of it is carried in the blood. Or as now, when someone tries using the assembly to pull a coup. Who's to say what my father said in his final hours, when the usurper Harrowlock was the only one by his side? I'll have you thrown in prison. You've bitten off more than you can chew. Handlers, separate these gushers and the diamond quarter. Not have bail and incite a riot. Not speak that way about the man who should be king. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. This is, uh, Captain of the Guard. I think we should talk to him, should we? Vieta, Surfacer. I'm bid to let you walk the commons, but keep your place. Warden or not, I want order. Now the plight is coming, and I need Orzammar's assistance. Surface problems. Well, we have no king to hear you. You can join the shouting at the assembly in the Diamond Quarter if you want. Bunch of Desher lords bickering over sand. Balin. Aromont. Is one so different? No paragons here. Hmm. Sounds like Balin and Haramont are the ones to talk to then. They've caged themselves for fear of each other. As you've seen, keeping order down among us working people is dodgy. No place for a proper lord. Balin speaks through his second, Vartag Gavorn in the assembly. Lord Haramont speaks through Doolin Ferender from his estate. Hmm. You mentioned paragons? Surfacers appoint no paragons? Truly, you're lost in all that sky. They are the best of us, declared living ancestors. If you must be our warden, at least know us. Go to the Shaper of Memories in the Shaperit, the true bright spot in the Diamond Quarter. Then I should go. Yes, you should. Hmm. People wow. to talk to? So this is Ozuma. It's huge. Right. So I don't want to get things right. Where are we going? What am I planning? Proving grounds. Nope. Dust town. How do I get to? No. Don't want to go to the deep roads. Diamond quarter. That way. So we'll head to the diamond quarter and. Try and speak to the Shaper before talking to many other people. So many people. Dagna. Uh, excuse me, I um do you have a moment? Not at the moment. Sorry. I know what you I know what you want, but not yet. Hmm. Adal hell me. So the closer you live to the surface the higher class you are. Unless you're actually on the surface. Does seem to be it. Lord Harrowant is the voice of tradition and stability. Uh, 
Okay. Voices really shouldn't work like that. Let, let's talk to Haramont, shall we? Well, we can't speak to Haramont, but he's second. Julen, he must be the uh, his steward. I heard there was a Grey Warden here. I am Doolin Forender, second to Lord Haramont, King Endrin's own choice as successor. Word is spreading that the surface may suffer a blight. It is shameful we are not in a better position to help. Hmm. Oh, I would speak with Lord Haramont if I could. In an ordinary time, Lord Haramont would be honored to meet you. Unfortunately, we've already caught more than one of Balin's spies approaching Haramont under a pretense of friendship. So I'm afraid I won't be able to take your word. If you want to speak to Haramont, you will need to prove he can trust you. How, how can I prove I'm not working for Balin? I think this is this is like I don't just okay. How can I prove I'm not working for Balin? That's a generous offer. If you mean it, you might attend the proving today. The Deshers take it very seriously, and unfortunately. Balin found some way to blackmail or intimidate House Haramont's best fighters into stepping down. Hmm. Okay, that's a trial by combat, so they would care. Uh, do you want me to find out why your fighters dropped out? That would be enlightening. Though I hope you won't write too deeply into things they don't wish reveal. Of course. If you wish to show your loyalty, enter the proving as his lordship's champion. With your order's reputation, I have no doubt the ancestors would favor your arm. I'm a stabby, stabby rogue. With anyone who humiliated him in that way, Haramont would have no fear of meeting with you then. Hmm. I'm not sure I want to start picking sides yet. But I'm afraid your only choice is to wait until there's a winner. Lord Haramont cannot risk his life working with someone of unproven loyalties. If you change your mind, let me know. The proving is this afternoon. And Lord Haramont could certainly use you on his side. Hmm. Yes. Right. Well, in that case, I think we're going to ignore him at the moment. Whoa, not expecting to face that way. Right. Where are we going? What do I want to do? What... what, what? Osmar, right. right. Vartag Gavor, right, to a band law. That's someone to talk to. Assembly chamber, or the Shaperate. Uh, we'll head to the Shaperate, I think. News of the hour. Two more clans endorsed Lord Balin as the new king. Change is inevitable, and it must come quickly. Hmm. Yeah, but will it be thought through is the question whenever you just change things quickly. Chamber of the Assembly. We don't want to go there. We're going to head to the Shaper it. Speak to Steward. What was it? Steward Bandalore? Or am I saying random words? Shaper it. I'm looking for the... Who would dare take from the memories? I, I just want... It was it was here that it said, wasn't it? Oh, Chamber of the Assembly. It's alright, I'll come back in here later. Take up your quests. Hmm, right. I, I don't want to end up going off doing things until I've got my plan sorted. Right. Meet your Vartag. I don't want to talk to Vartag. The assembly is in session. Enter quietly if you wish to observe. Okay, I'll be quiet. <laughs> Your mind has gone to dust if you think we would pass it or it. Half our houses would go broke without the service trade. The proposal is only effective until we have a king to ensure we are respected by the surfacers. Leaving you conveniently positioned to take over all contracts. I'll see your head on a pike first. Desha's lords and ladies of the assembly. I've already doubled the guard to prevent violence. Must I summon more? Steward Bandalore, Balin's sympathizers are tying our hands with trivialities. They may as well open us to the sky. 
I suggest we put the matter to a vote. And I suggest you have a taste of my family's mace. Enough. The assembly is in recess until the members can regain control of their emotions. Hmm. Oh, okay, so he's noticed us. He's coming to speak to us. Uh, Stuart Bandelor. Stone forsaken fools and dusters. I'm sorry. This is the assembly of the clans. Only dashers and occasional guests of state are allowed in. Uh, I, I'm a Grey Warden, if that counts for anything. Forgive me. I'm so exhausted. I completely forgot about the message from the gate guard. Welcome to Orzabar. Warden, I hope you can forgive our unrest. The loss of our king has hit us hard. Respect for your role is great, but you won't receive a proper hearing until we have a king on the throne. Hmm. Hmm. Is there any way I can break the stalemate? Who has the authority to aid me? Oh, can I break the stalemate? I must admit, Warden, I am at a loss myself. It lies with Prince Balin or Lord Harriman, and they are slow to trust anyone in these uncertain times. Doolin for Ender, Harriman's man, can be found at the Harriman estate. Vartag Gavorn, Prince Balin's second, is often here in the assembly. I only wish there was more I could do for you. Hmm. It's frustrating. There's one bit of dialogue kind of thing I want people to say. I'm not saying it. Right, Vartag. Warden, welcome. It is always a blessing for Orzammar to host your order. I am Vartag Gavorn, top advisor to our good Prince Balin. What news do you bring? Hmm. Uh, who is Prince Balin? Why, the rightful ruler of Orzammar. A title he would have greeted you under, had not subversive elements been plotting against him. He is King Endrin's only surviving son. There is no reason to seek any other to take the throne. Hmm. I need aid against the Blight. Yes, the treaty. I've seen it in the Shaper's libraries. Now, the difficulty is that the treaty only compels our king. And we are sadly lacking one of those right now. Oh, I can see where this is going. <laughs> I've heard enough about politics. <laughs> Hmm, no. No, I mean, I'm a nobleman, I understand it. Can I, could I talk to Balin? You must understand. Aramont hides behind his good reputation while sending spies and assassins. Balin can't know who to trust. It's Neither can I. It's a knife in the heart for Balin to see so many of his father's men stand with the usurper. Uh, I've heard that King Endrin supported Aramont. That hurts worst of all. That Aramont would take advantage of the dying king's delirium to plant such poisonous suspicions against his own son. After that, you understand why Balin cannot trust the word of a stranger, mm. however reputable that stranger might be. Hmm. <laughs> then I must seek my aid from Haramont. Now we've already had the question. Is there any way I can prove my intentions? Haramont has engaged in a campaign of bribery and coercion to ensure that every house serves him. But if a neutral party, a stranger, were to approach certain key members, perhaps with irrefutable evidence of Haramont's deception. Irrefutable evidence? Which I suppose you have? As it I'm happens. My Lord Prince would show his gratitude. Uh, what kind of evidence? Haramont promised the same portion of his estate to two different Deshers, Lady Dace and Lord Helmy. Haramont can't possibly grant it to both of them. But they won't find out until after the vote is cast. I have copies of the promissory notes Haramont gave each of them. Once they see those, they should both reconsider their votes. Hmm. Uh, where did you get the notes? That's not important. If they ask, hmm. say you found them while searching the Shaper's libraries for your tree. Is there, isn't there someone you could report him to? Normally, the Shapers would handle this sort of accusation. They are the scholars who manage our laws, histories, and genealogies. They are the final arbiters of all disputes in Orzammar. Unfortunately, the Shaper of Memories is the most important among them. And his grandfather was Lord Haramont's aunt's first cousin. Obviously, we cannot expect him to offer an unbiased opinion. Hmm. 
he'd hold a distant relative over duty? I guess I can't expect you surfacers to understand the importance of family in Ozalon. The Shaper is biased, and if you want Prince Balin's help, you'll have to show where your loyalties lie. Will you do it? I will think about this. Don't expect this offer to last. If my prince hears you swore allegiance to his enemy, he won't be so friendly next time. I will mm -hmm. be here if you change your mind. <sighs> hmm. <sighs> You're just going to tell me to side with, with Haramont, aren't you? Okay, let's hear what you have to say. Do you see how things lie, Warden? Lord Haramont cannot trust you unproven, but he welcomes a good faith gesture. I still haven't decided if I want... I don't want to say that just in case. I don't want to play my hand and go, Oh, I remember to cheat. No, I still haven't decided if I want to help you yet. I'm Terry. Proving starts this afternoon. Time is meaningless in this game. I hope you understand that. Hmm. So, how is it the dwarves have a king? I thought they... Voted on everything. Or something like that. Someone who's got a British accent, you don't understand British politics, do you? News of the hour! Does Lord Haramon think that Orzammar can hold off the dwarves forever? The assembly demands an answer! Hmm. Hmm. Right. What are we doing? Of the hour! Three more clans endorse Lord Harumont as the true voice of the Dwarven folk. Is Paragon Hood far behind? <sighs> what do we do, guys? Side with Balin, side with Harumont. I mean, Balin is, is, was, what was it, Aiden? I can't even, Endrin, can't remember his name. Uh, King Endrin's last son. But how do we know that politics work the same way? Can you hear me, mate? What? You wanna know how Balin became Endrin's only surviving son? Let me tell you. <laughs> 